She doesn't say. Oh my gosh. I'm glad we got that on camera. Hello, hey, it's Ali J. Welcome back to my channel. It is currently two days before Thanksgiving and you would think I'm on a break from school, but that is not the case. So I have a busy next few days um, and I decided I'm just gonna film. I've been really tired. Um, this past weekend, I was barely home because I was a bridesmaid in one of my line sister's weddings. Um, so, that wedding was really fun. I did not leave the venue until like 11 p.m. So from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. I was at the venue. And then it was a, like almost a little under three hours for me. So I got home well after 1 a.m. early Sunday morning. Um, and then I had a conference for school on Monday. This point of the semester is always when I really have to like push my hardest. That means I have about 15 lectures from this semester and then like things to review from the previous semester and i have what is today today's the 22nd and my exam is in the middle of december so let me stop rambling and get to cleaning all right so i just got in from walking this one and um we are going to feed them it's time for you guys to eat dinner right Time for them to eat dinner. So let me get them fed and then I'll finally start cleaning. We went on a nice long walk. Happy Wednesday. Um, so this morning, cause I wanted to work seven to three and I wasn't on the schedule. So I wanted to call in cause I just need to make some extra money. And they're actually fully staffed like two hospitals fully staffed for 7 a.m. Like that's wild. And then the day that I call in to work, they're fully staffed. Since I'm up, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back to sleep actually. There's no reason for me to be up this early. Yeah. All right, hey guys, so it is now but 10.30 in the morning, so I went back to sleep for a few more hours since I'm gonna be up late today. So I accepted a shift and I'm working three to 11. I'm excited this time because my first half of my shift is gonna be in the um, ICU. It's a neurological ICU. They um, told me I'm gonna be in the ICU for the first four hours and then I'm going to be um, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's, a, it's either a psych unit or a med surge floor. Honestly, I would like going to the psych unit because I've never worked psych and I kind of want to see what that's like. Although I'm like 99% sure that's not the specialty I want to go into only because like my first, my bachelor's degree is in psych and like I'm just over it at this point. <laughs> I'm over psych. Um, but I'm really excited about the ICU. After I eat breakfast, I'm gonna try to do my EBP literature review. I'm gonna try my best to finish my literature review before I leave for work. Um, I feel like that's really ambitious, but I just don't, I don't want to be like struggling to do everything when we come back. And our professors kept saying like, oh, don't do any work over break, don't do any work. But I'm just like, that's how you get caught up like I, I get that you should take a break but i just feel like i'm in the home stretch i might as well just like bust everything out like work do everything i can so that by the time break really does come like the end of the semester i'm not i'm not like stressed like i don't want to be stressed till the very last minute you know what i mean like i just want to do what i gotta do and get it done look who's done her zoomies look who's done her zoomies Oh, look who's done their zoomies. <laughs> look who's done their zoomies. Everybody's here. Let's get to work because I have to leave here at two to get to the hospital, um, which means I have to get ready at one. So if it's 1030, I have two hours. Oh, 
have some off-brand Amazon Captain Crunch, some toast. Don't ask about how much butter I put on there. And then coffee, because I'm not buying any, trying to save some money. shift and uh, I had a really good experience in the ICU today so it was much like I expected um, where the nurses have like a routine of stuff that they're doing um, but working as a tech it wasn't what I expected uh, so the way it works is like techs are very different in an ICU versus like a regular floor like techs like I was not allowed to take vitals I wasn't allowed to chart like every time I took a vital or like recorded output or anything like that I had to just write it on a whiteboard and then the nurses would chart everything um, I was kind of there just to help with like cleaning people up and like restocking the rooms that's pretty much it like there was not much that I was allowed to do but that allowed me to observe the nurses more and the nurses were just really really sweet because they knew that I was in school too so when I asked to um observe things they're really cool about it and even let me help so I got to see um a wound get packed because we had a patient with a stage four slash unstageable wound and I got to see it get packed with the wet to dry um and this was also my first time interacting with patients that like were truly unconscious. Um, so it was a little sad seeing like tons of family come in and kind of like say, not like their goodbyes, but kind of our wish like visiting because they don't know what's next. Um, so that was cool. Um, well, it wasn't cool, but it was interesting. The second half of my shift was med search telly and it was just a weird arrangement of patients. I had some patients that were nonverbal. I had some that were severely developmentally delayed. I had one that was postpartum and her baby was there. It was just like a lot of very different patients where some were critically ill and then others were like used to being there. But it did make me realize I think I would like to work in the ICU, possibly if that was an option. But as a tech, I don't like it because like I don't like I don't like not being able to take vitals or chart and stuff like that. Like I like doing that. Like I like monitoring things, charting things. Um and then there was a lot that I didn't know. Like when I was getting report or giving report at the end of my ICU shift, um, you know, the tech coming on, she was really nice, but she was just like, oh, I'm going in with my cleanser. Um, she was really nice, but she was like, oh, if you're not from the ICU, you don't know what I mean. But like, there's certain things that as a tech, you're supposed to do at the end of the shift to prepare for the next tech. Like they have like these boxes that they're supposed to like, re like put new flushes in there and like all kinds of stuff like that she and she was really nice about it she was like there's no way you would even know about any of this stuff because you're not on this floor but there's like a whole like series of things i was supposed to do before she got there 
so i felt really bad because like it meant she had to do all of that stuff but like i didn't know i'm so used to working as a tech like in in the capacity of like med surge or the er like it's just it's just really interesting how even as a tech the specialties are very different which i don't think a lot of people are aware of i think they think it's the same everywhere but it's very different depending on the specialty like i know in the er i did a lot more like transporting um and you're doing a lot more of just like just running around and trying to make people comfortable getting them stuff they need taking them like taking them to testing was a lot a big one like i was taking people to radiology a lot um i was transporting them up to their floor if they got admitted i was like doing a lot of like things that weren't really like i wasn't really hands-on with the patient i was kind of just like helping move things along whereas like if you really want like hands-on patient care patient experience in before nursing i would suggest doing a med surge floor because that's just where you're really like you have a lot of patients that's one thing like you have a lot of patients today i only had eight and as a tech, that's really great because like most times I'd have like 15. So I was really happy to have eight techs. I mean, eight patients. There was four techs this time and we all had around eight patients because it was a really big floor. So I was really happy about that. Um, but I feel like I get more experience and I learn more on med surge. Great skin serum. Love this stuff. But even as a tech, I feel like if the floor is well stocked, I don't feel as well stocked and well staffed. I don't feel as stressed. Whereas when I'm like the only tech or like there's just two of us and we each have like 15 patients each and like I go in the storage room and there's like no chucks or no thermometers. no Like that makes me like just want to cry. <laughs> and it's just like that would just I, I wouldn't be able to work in conditions like that like i could not do that <sighs> all right it is now the time it's 12 43 in the morning so i'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. So today obviously is Thursday um, and today I'm gonna go to my parents' house to eat. Um, but first, I just wanna share some products with you. So I am about to do my face routine and put a little makeup on. And I was gifted some products from Merit and you may remember Merit Beauty from a few of my videos ago. I shared some of their products. I've loved them ever since. This time they sent me a um, skin serum and then they also sent me a roll-on blush, which I've been wanting to try a roll-on blush for forever. Um, and the, the color that I got was Beverly Hills. It's like a light pink color. And then this I've been using actually for about a week now and I really like it. It's a, um, it says it's an instant glow serum, but for me it's more moisturizing instead of glow. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, caffeine, and then um, a few other things as well, and it's pH balance, and I've been using it every morning, and I really like it. You have to shake it up first, and then you do two pumps, and I just put it all over my face, and this is the first thing I do in my skincare routine, and it's been really... It's actually been doing really good at um, keeping my skin moisturized. I usually use high, just like plain hyaluronic acid. So I was like, let me just give this a try. When they said they would send it, I was like, let me just give it a try first. And I actually do really like it. And I've been using it every day. So I just roll it on like this. And I try to get my whole face. And I try to get my neck too. All right, and that is that. And then after I use this, I go in and I use some sunscreen. So sunscreen is on, serum is on. Now I can start my makeup. And I'm actually gonna use some older products that Merit sent me. I wanna say it was probably like a year ago. 
um, that they sent some of these and I've still been using them because I just love them. The first one is this um, eyebrow stick and I have it in the darkest color. I'm pretty sure I have it in black. I've had this so long. I don't even, yeah, black brown actually is what it's called. Um, and I've been using this on my brows literally forever. Like this is like the one thing I use before I go to clinical because it gives my brows like a, it makes them a little darker, but not too dark. And it's quick. It's like really quick application. I'm going to put a little um, concealer on my face because I don't want to do, I don't want to do foundation because I want a lighter look today. I have some concealer on my face. I'm just going to go ahead and put some eyeliner and mascara on really quick. Super basic. All right. So now I'm going to use their um, blush that you can just slick on. And I'm so excited about this because I've always wanted a slick on blush. Oh, that is pretty. And so for Black Friday, they are having 20% off the entire site. Um, you can also get their products at Sephora as well because I do see them there. But um, the sale starts November 21st and it goes all the way until the 28th. So if you want to get any of these products, You'll be able to get them on their website um, for a discount. All right, so that added just like a little bit of color to my face. I do wish that I got a color that was a little darker um, because this is like, it's very subtle. And I feel like for darker skin, I'm going to need a much darker color. So I don't think I would get this color again. I really like the consistency of this and I like how easy it is to apply. So I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it again in a darker color. But if you're darker skinned, I think I don't think Beverly Hills is gonna give you what you want it to give. Um, but the consistency is great. All right, and the last product I'm gonna use is um, this shade slick is what they call it. This is in the shade Pink Beat, and I've had this now for like a year. I use this. I want to say I use this a few times a week because it just gives you just a teeny bit of color, but it gives you a lot of moisture as well. It's kind of like a lip oil that has some color to it. And I like this has just been my go to. I actually had to get it out of my bag because I keep this in my purse all the time because it's just such a quick way to just add a little color and moisture without, you know, because, you know, some like lip glosses can be drying, but this adds just a bit of color. All right, so I'm just gonna powder my face really quick. So when you order from them, they're actually gonna send you a bag, a signature bag that's gonna come in with your order. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can only get that if you order through their Black Friday sale. So if you do want a little extra with your order, now is the time. All right, we are all set. So this is my look for today. Like I said, um, Merit is a very minimalistic brand. So like their whole thing is clean beauty, easy application, and then just having like a very subtle look, which I, I think that's why I've just loved their products so much for the past year is because like when I do come in here to put the products on, like you can use your fingers, it's quick. The products are like really pretty and you get out the door faster, so. I think that's why I've just been really excited about working with them for the past year. She doesn't say. Oh my gosh! Left got that off camera. Oh my god! It is now Friday, um, 
So to yesterday was Thanksgiving and we had a really good time. Food was really delicious. I already had Thanksgiving food for breakfast and that was amazing. Um, and then we saw Black Panther yesterday, which was really good. I, I knew it was gonna be good, but like I was thoroughly impressed. I enjoyed the movie the whole time. I actually hate movies that are more than two hours. So I was kind of dreading going, but um, it ended up being really, really good. Like it went by so fast. Hopefully I had time to start um, or rather finish reading that article that I had the literature review on. Luckily I got um, some of my assignments done the other day, but I still have a few more I want to get done this weekend. Um, and then I do work tomorrow, so I want to kind of get a lot of stuff done so that I can like have at least one chill day before school starts back up on Monday. I'm going to end the vlog here um, just so that, you know, I don't have to worry about filming and I can just take in the moment. Um, that's just like stressful to me because I like my videos to be very coherent and I just feel like I just pick up the camera whenever I have time or whenever I feel have something or whenever I have something I feel like is worth showing, which is not often. <laughs> um, so I am hoping that you guys are enjoying what I'm attempting to put out. Hopefully it's showing you that you can still have time for friends and family and other things and still get your work done. Um, the more I film, the better the vlogs are gonna get. Um, so I hope that the next one after this is even better. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.